This time, I'm going to talk about HGM model, including how to calibrate HGM model, how to use it for pricing in Python. HGM model or HGM framework specifies forward rate dynamics directly. It has the initial forward curve exogenous and forward rate drift fully determined by volatility. And HGM framework contains all interest rate models driven by Browning motion. In HGM model, the instantaneous forward interest rate with maturity tall is assumed to satisfy the stochastic differential equation. So this Ft tall means the forward rate for maturity tall. And this F0 tall means exogenous initial forward curve. And the W means Browning motion under the risk neutral measure. Sigma t tau here is a volatility process. This is the most important part in HGM model. And this alpha t tau is a drift process. Please remember this drift process is fully determined by sigma t tall. So if we can decide sigma t tall, we can decide alpha t tall. And then we can decide our HGM model. There are several assumptions in HGM model. The model assumes that the forward rate is driven by volatility because the volatility in the market for futures contracts can be predicted. And another assumption presented by the model is that the price of each security is observable. Thirdly, the model does not explain all the complexities that come from a changing term structure. Then, when do people use HGM model? Investors use the HGM model to determine the prices of securities that are impacted by interest rate fluctuations. In particular, the model can be used to price financial derivatives because the value of derivatives depends on the term structure our underlying assets. In this video, I'm going to use HGM model to price caplet. So what is a caplet? Caplet are interest rate options designed to cap the risk of rising rates. Caplet is very similar to cap but caplets are shorter term in duration compared to caps, which may be a year or longer. Let's see how interest rate cap works. For example, if you have a floating rate mortgage and your interest rate will depend on maybe LIBOR rate and when the LIBOR rate change and your interest rate will change too. But if you have an interest rate cap and then if the interest rate goes over this cap amount and you won't pay more than this cap rate, that's how the interest rate cap works. In this video, I'm going to show you how to 
calibrate HGM model with historical daily yield curve data over the last five years. The yield curve structure contains 51 tenors ranging from one month to 25 years. And also, I'm going to use PCA principal component analysis to identify common factors which are driving movements in these rates. In my YouTube channel, I have another video talking about PCA in detail. If you haven't watched that video yet, you are welcome to watch that PCA video first. Then, once the volatility factors are identified in historical data by PCA technique, I've used cubic spline to fit these factors. And these interpolators are then later used to generate discrete mesh of tenors for the purpose of Monte Carlo simulation. Then it came to the most important part. We are going to calculate risk neutral drift function. Finally, we are going to use our calibrated HGM model to price IR caplet with strike 3% with Monte Carlo simulation. Now, let's go to Python, see how it works. First, I will load the historical yield curve data, and then I'm going to show you the data and because I'm going to do the PCA analysis, I'm going to calculate the eigenvalue and eigenvector. And then I will pick up three PCA components for this model. I'm going to show you those three components. And then I'm going to calculate the risk neutral drift. And after that, I'm going to simulate the interest rate change with T and with tau. Then I'm going to show you the discount factor and the forecast spot rate. And lastly, I'm going to use our HGM model to do the pricing for the caplet. Now let's run the program. You can see here, this shows the data of this yield curve. It's until 25 years and it covers 5 year period for the daily changes. And then this shows the evaluation of daily historical yield curve data with 51 tenors over 5 years. And you see each line represents a different tenor. So because it covered five years, it has the data points you can see is 1264 data points here. And then I'm going to show you the historical forward rate changed by tall. So this time, this x-axis shows the tenor tall. So because it has 25 years, and it shows like this, and each line represents different day in the past. So 
those two graphs are different. This is show each line for a different day and this each line represent a different tenor. And then this show you the interest rate change day by day for this five years. And then I calculated the eigenvalues and then this is the eigenvectors. I only pick up three PCA component showed you here. You can see this second eigenvector this is second one so you can see first component is 0 0.0566 so it's here 0 0.0566 and the second PCA component is negative 0 0.16 so negative 0 0.16 is here. So this one is the third PCA component. It's 0 0.27, 0 0.27 right here. So of course you can check all the data points here. It will show you the first component and the second one and then the third one. Then I've used this formula to rescale this volatility. You can see, so this is first component, this is second one, this is third one. And then I'm going to fit the volatility for the first component basically it's flat so I just use this straight line to fit this volatility and then the second component I'm going to use this curve to fit the volatility and the third one I use this curve to fit the volatility you can see the volatility change something like this the first component the second one and the third one and then as I mentioned before the most important part we calculated risk neutral drift is like this this cover those five year period and of course we can show today's instantaneous forward rates as look like this. Remember this is forward rate. And then we run the simulation we simulated FT tall by T. So this X axis is time T. It covered five years period time and then we simulate ft tall by tall so this is x axis is cover those maturity until 25 years eventually we are going to simulate the path for the caplet and we can draw the forecast spot rate and discount factor and for this caplet we run the Monte Carlo simulation you can see we run 500 times and then the price K 
came down and goes up and fluctuate like this, eventually it became stable. And the final value is 13,059.9. I uploaded this Python program to my GitHub already. So you can download the source code and run it by yourself. This is the basics about HGM model and how you can calibrate HGM model and how to use it to price a security in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.